What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. Your electronics have lots of ports and holes. How do you make sure they stay protected? The answer is you can pick up one of these sets of port plugs. I just picked this one up because it was very inexpensive. Seemed like it came with, comes with a nice variety of different plugs. And the reason you might need these is, um, you know, your electronics may not be waterproof. Uh, you can go to some dusty areas. Maybe you're uh, going camping, you're gonna be outdoors. Maybe uh, it is waterproof and you still want to just, you know, save yourself from getting debris or something like that into your electronics. Uh, you can use these on pretty much anything. I've got my MacBook here and I thought I'd just take a look and see what this little set includes. One of the ones that I really wanted to check out was this little headphone port. And you can see here, it's kind of uh, four lobed with a little cap, so it shouldn't sink in. I think there was another one in here too, maybe. There it is. Looks like there's another one. So if you have a couple of headphone jacks, three and a half millimeter jacks, you can cover those up. You'll probably recognize these things. They're like on flashlights or other electronics that try to keep the uh, air out. My fingernails are all greasy from working on the car. Um, here's a USB cover. Uh, they're, I guess they're labeled BBS. I'm not even sure what that one is. A little tiny one here. Um, so I'm not even sure what all these, here's a USB, that's pretty familiar to me. Um, a uh, kind of a SIM card, or not a SIM card, but like an uh, SD card slot. Lots of them here. I'm kind of looking for something that would be USB-C and maybe, maybe something like that would be. And this looks like a, uh, a digital video port or something like that. Anyway, let's uh, let's just take a look at my MacBook here. On this side, I think I have a headphone jack. So we'll take one of these and throw it in there, see how hard it is to get in there. For the life of me, can't get this in any further than that. It's just a standard three and a half millimeter jack. I mean, I can kind of get it in, but it won't go in any further, which is kind of funny. And then over here, I couldn't find anything that would work in the USB-C port, which is a little disappointing. You know, um, these regular USB-C or USB-A 3.0 ports, 2.0 ports, covers should work just fine on stuff, but eh, I guess I'll keep looking. These are actually really small, and even if I take the smallest thing they've included here, it's uh, just not small enough. So anyway, uh, kind of clever invention, unfortunately, in my haste maybe, to not really scrutinize the pieces that were included. It's not gonna really work for me, but you can pick up a set of these that might work for you. Especially the more legacy devices out there. Uh, check it out. I'll put a link to this one in the description. I'm going to order another one and check it out, though, too. Peter Brown Panda out.